<laughs> I passed the test. Oh, uh-oh. Okay, right. Yeah, they're still... How's it look? Looks pretty awesome. We used to make a... Uh, we made a plug, too. We made a plug, too. What is up, everyone? Mandy here. So we have just arrived to Orange County Fair Speedway. Honestly, I didn't think we'd be getting back here anytime soon, <laughs> especially with the uh, pandemic going on. But um, they put everything together, made sure to just make it happen best as we can. And we are here, but we are practicing. So shaking some cars down, um, just dry run through it all, make sure all is good. And uh, yeah, so I figured why not videotape, see how all goes and uh, maybe even try out some different angles in the GoPro. So let me know what you think. But until then, we gotta go unload the car.
is worse than rushing to get in line to have them tell you to go back to the trailer because they're done. I hope you can hear me and understand me. I'm a, I'm a lip reader, so this is difficult for me. I guess it'll use a lot, huh? Yeah, and that thing off the throttle, like, so it's... doing juicing it up hoping to get the cars in. Are you asking me a question? Mm -hmm. Yeah we're uh, charging the batteries on the Fun. They're supposed to be charging all night but I don't know why. You know what's kind of disappointing about this is that I mean it's not like we want a feature and we're hanging out with the car halfway up the door but we're sitting here, basically stranded. Not one person. Guys, look. We're all by ourselves. It was packed. Not one person stopped to see if we needed a hand. Not one. However, I did go over and uh, Prego let us borrow a charger, but it's not strong enough. So, <sighs> may this not be the rest of the season. Oh my God. Um, yeah, it's 11 o'clock at night. Anthony Monaco when hopefully is getting us something. Because luckily he stuck around for us. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd be so stranded. But it's 11 at night and um, we still have a four-hour drive home. And then we have to do it all over again for practice at Albany, Saratoga. So we still need to get both cars in the trailer. Like, this is not fun. She's juiced up now, baby. Well, send it back down. I'll get on. Too late. So today was a hectic day, but uh, still a successful day. It was very long. Started real early in the morning, late last night, but. Uh, we were able to practice two different cars. Uh, we got out twice with one of the cars and had to make an adjustment. And I was able to feel what it did. Uh, the adjustment I made didn't didn't make any like serious like time. It didn't our lap times didn't seriously improve, but uh, it definitely made considerable change in the balance of the car so that I can feel so it's just nice to know what that does when you do something new uh, it's just nice to know what all the adjustments feel like because it's you're afraid to make the adjustments on a race day because you don't know what they're going to do but if you practice and try them it's, it makes you more confident in your decisions so that was good both of our car cars ran uh, the engines ran good we didn't have any leaks uh, and we didn't have any malfunctions with the cars. They were pretty solid. So, and then we got both inspected. Um, so that's great. Those to show all the hard work they put in. Now see if we get ready. Um, then we had trouble with the, the batteries on the trailer. Checked our temperatures when we walked 
Jackson. Um, I think they're going around like sporadically picking people and checking them again. Uh, only two people out of the crew were allowed to go into the grandstands to actually watch. So two at a time there, which kind of stinks. But um, they had hand sanitizer stations everywhere. Am I missing anything? Um, oh, they parked us specifically. Come back next time, guys. See ya.